DeAndre, you're coming in. Coming in hot. What's up, man? How's it going? Oh, man, doing really well, brother. Where, so uh, how old are you and where are you calling from? I'm 31. I'm calling from, I'll say the greater Houston, Texas area. I'm not actually in Houston, but I think that would make it simpler for everybody. Yeah, no, no worries, man. I couldn't believe how hot Texas was, dude. I was just out there in Austin. I was dripping. Dude. Like, I thought Florida was hot. No. No, I just no. came from outside. I was playing basketball, and I just left in the middle of the game because I had been out there an hour before the game started, and I was starting to get dizzy. I was like, I need to get back inside. No, I'm not. I felt like I had a head. Like, one day we were, we were walking pretty far, and I was like, I was like, I feel like I literally just got a headache from the heat. Oh, you just got to carry a gallon with you, man. You're, yeah. You'll get dehydrated really easily. Well, I just ditched. I just stopped wearing socks and underwear the whole trip. I mean, I just <laughs> said, fuck it all. Dude. It I makes you like, want to take your skin off. Some days, like, I wish I could get out of my skin if that yeah. was possible. And I'm not even, like, I'm not exaggerating. Anyways, so DeAndre, talk to me. You calling him for some paper or you just want to ch chop it up? Both of it's possible. Cool, man. So what's on your mind tonight? And then we'll worry about the money at the end of the conversation. Well, um, I'm the author of this book. I'm working to be like you. I'm growing my YouTube channel. Wait, wait, wait. A... Hold that book. Hold that book back now, man. Hold on one second. For, for the, out of the ashes, finding purpose in your pain. Wow. That's really dope. That's actually uh, finding your purpose in the pain. That's really dope, man. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate oh, let me, it. Let me, um, I'm going to write this down. Hold on. If you don't mind, actually, you could even reach out to me on Instagram. I'd like to get a copy of that. Yes, uh, sir. If you give um, me a good mailing address, I'll mail you a signed copy. Okay, yeah, my address is. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna say that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, out, uh, out of the ashes. What did it say? I'm sorry, I'm writing that down. Finding, oh. finding the purpose in your pain. Dude, yeah, definitely DM. Definitely hit me up on Instagram. I'd like to talk about that. That's sick. So you actually have copies of this. When did you write this book? I wrote it in 2020, the perfect time, but also the worst time because. I had all this free time because I'm in education and we did a bunch of virtual work. So when I wasn't at work, I spent all that extra free time working on it. But also due to COVID, everything was so restricted. We had the mask on, so I couldn't really promote it when it came out. Um, but now um, since September, I really locked in on my social media and my speaking career outside of education. I've made $14,000 since September to now just cold emailing. So any money I could put towards marketing and eventually getting to where I could hire more people because most of that money came from me just cold emailing. So it's like, if I could get that much by myself, if I could hire people to help me do that. Um, and I'm wow. big on just helping people find their purpose because I feel like most people get in debt or most people are addicted to things because they hate their lives. And if they found out what gave them life, then they will want to, I say, don't create a life you hate. You have to escape, build a life you cannot wait to wake up and experience. When you enjoy your life, you're not as susceptible to just spending money frivolously trying to create a false sense of, you know, fulfillment. That was actually beautifully put because I used to be, um, I guess, uh, what would the Red Hot Chili Peppers would call addicted to the shindig. So I used to be big on... You know, there used to be a saying, I was like a local, like infamous person. It, they called it Team Jack's house because we would throw every weekend, there'd be a party. Oh, wow. Like, I wouldn't even plan a party. Come home, there's 40 people in my driveway with a keg. They already you know what I mean. Up. But what I'm saying is, is I got, I got out of the party for a little while, but then it kind of sucked me back in. And what I'm trying to say is, is, you know, the two nights a week or three nights a week, I would be at a house party or at the bar or at the bar and then back at somebody else's house, even though I didn't drink that much. I mostly just smoked weed, but that's where the ladies were. So and then, you know, the fun, the fun. Um, but I came to the conclusion around like 26 or 27 when I really started YouTube for the first time, I just quit everything. I went stone cold sober. Um, but I realized that me going out for those four or five hours in the night. All that was was me just not worrying about anything in the world for those five hours. But I was doing that all the time. And then eventually one day you wake up and that that party doesn't do it anymore. You wake up and it's like, um, you know, the thing I was trying to forget 
now I'm at the party and all I can do is think about it. Um, so if that's any way to relate to that, I mean, yeah, I'm big on end escapism because at the end of the day, when the high comes down, when the buzz comes down, you're still in the same position and you're broker and you're inebriated. But if you just took that energy and put it into what you really want to do, eventually, you know, it's going to pay off. And so I'm big on helping people. I believe everyone should put the purpose of their life in a one sentence, because when you can do that, every decision might not be easy to make, but it's simple to make. You know what you're supposed to do. You know where you're supposed to be and all of that. Yeah, man, because like uh, like I said, it's it's one of those things where when you're for me, this is just on my end. Not everybody has the same experience. I get that. But for me, it was kind of like at the party. I'm the man. But then when I woke up in the morning. Yeah. Is actually, I'm actually quite the opposite of that. So I, I totally agree with you, man. Like it, 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 it because after skateboarding, I felt kind of lost. Cause that was my, that was my thing. You know, that's what gave me uh, a reason, you know? And then when I started doing stand up comedy, that gave me my new reason. And then when I quit that, I was just lost for years, just restaurant business, trying odd ass jobs, trying to, you know, I, I started a carpet cleaning company. Like, I didn't want to do that. That lasted about a year. I was like, I don't want to do this. And no one has big on no experience is wasted because everything you learn throughout every experience built your skill set. And some people say, Well, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. It's it's already oversaturated, blah, blah, blah. But I tell people, go to the bread aisle. When you go down the bread aisle, you're gonna see wheat, rye bread, wonder bread, grape, all these different breads. And I'm gonna tell them, go back in a month. You're still gonna see, even though it's all bread. Somebody says, my favorite is Wonder Bread. My favorite is this. So with your unique experiences, even though you're doing YouTube, you bring a unique perspective. And so that's why I encourage everybody, don't not do something because you're like, oh, there's so many people doing it. No one's lived your life and did it. So it's still going to be different. You got an awesome point. That's how I tried to ask that 21-year-old kid earlier. If anything's possible, what would you want to do? Um, and not everybody knows. And that's cool. But the moment you do think, oh, I could like I could do this thing, whatever the fuck it is, you know, um, I guess just don't be afraid to do it because I see it too many times, man. Like, I can't believe how many people they'll ask me and I have no problem. You know, even when I was people were kind of like laughing at me, not with me, you know, because I wasn't successful and I'd had no problem telling them, oh, I do stand up comedy. That's my Instagram. I don't care if the numbers were shit. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually doing it. Um, they could judge me all they want, but I, I, but I can't believe how many people are just too afraid to say it out loud. I um, want to help people because most people, they think that they're afraid of failure. And some people say you're afraid of success. I say we're not afraid to fail. We're f- afraid of not succeeding by a timeline we gave ourselves. So in yeah, our mind, we say it's going to take three months for this stand-up company to take off. And when three months happens and it doesn't get to the point we imagined it at three months, we think we're a failure, even though let's say you just added 300 subscribers between then and now you're just focused on, but I'm not getting a million bucks, but I'm not at one of these big shows. So I tell people set goals, but shout out to Emmanuel Acho It's better about having objectives and celebrating your effort because your effort is the only thing you can control. So like I said, September, I really liked it and start sending code emails every day. I've sent like, over 1500 emails since then. And then on each of those emails is anywhere from 10 to 200 people attached. And I've only gotten like 12 gigs since then, but that's how I got the money. And it's about just saying every day that I send emails, I'm proud of myself for sending emails. Did I go to the gym? I'm proud for just showing up. Yeah, the workout might be a crappy workout today, but I showed up. And if you keep showing up, something good is going to happen, but you got to release yourself from it has to happen by this time. And success, the, only, the key to success is just you didn't quit. You, your YouTube is at 74,000 and it's going to get to 100 because you show up every day. It's really that simple. We keep watching all these videos, trying to get information. The biggest advice I would tell people is take action because some of the information you're only going to find when you get started. If you keep waiting to know everything, by the time you know everything, it's going to be outdated anyway. No, that was beautiful, man. Showing up's actually the hardest part. And you're thousand percent correct on the when I said literally when I started stand up, I honestly thought within six months I was going to be 
out. And then within a year, I just stopped doing it. And then I would do it again, quit, do it again, started YouTube. It didn't work in a year, quit, you know. And the first time I ever was successful with anything was skateboarding and then the gym. And that had nothing to do with money. But it taught me that if I showed up long enough, I could, I could do it. I could get results. And then, you know, just so just something even simple like that. But anyways, man, what's your um, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I definitely want to check this book out and we could talk some business on that. Yeah. Um, like for real. And then um, what's uh, what do you want to do? Zelle or cash out? You can do ca uh, cash out. All right. And then you got to give me the exact name. You're going to have to spell it out for me. Just think just got to you. play it safe. <laughs> you good. D as in dog. J mm -hmm. as in Jack. Mm -hmm. L as in Larry inspires with the s djl inspires and that's all of my social medias as well okay i can barely spell i n s p i r e e s e s got it inspires djl inspires that just like For that sure. just like that djl inspires.com yeah. djl inspires on all social medias that's awesome YouTube, man everything. let's chop it up hit me up in the dms i want to talk to you about this book thing because uh Another guy offered me to do an audio book thing. So maybe we could possibly do something, uh, yes, but we'll sir. talk about that, man. Enjoy your night. And then I'm going to zip that over to you later tonight. Okay. Appreciate you. No problem, man. Like I agree with everything you said. Thanks for having me on, man. Of course, man. Good guy. I like that dude.